SDC. Welcome to our second midweek moment where I've been given the chance to share something with you that God has laid on my heart in the last few days and I really hope that it'll be an encouragement to you. So a few nights ago I was putting our boys to sleep, cuddling them as usual and I thought I would use that time to try and solve the COVID-19 crisis. Of course by the time my children were asleep and I left the room I didn't have solutions but rather I had a complete sense of overwhelm and so I went to lay on my own bed and I began to pray. And that's when I felt the Lord lead me to go and read Psalm 62. Psalm 62 is a psalm that I have read before, um, but it's not one of the ones that I know by heart. And so I didn't know what I was going to be reading as I opened up scripture. But this is what Psalm 62 says. For God alone, my soul waits in silence. From him comes my salvation. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall not be greatly shaken. It goes on to detail some of the opposition that David was facing. For continuing, for God alone, O my soul, wait in silence, for my hope is from Him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall not be shaken. On God rests my salvation and my glory. My mighty rock, my refuge is God. Trust in Him at all times, O people. Pour out your hearts before Him. God is a refuge for us. It explains to us that people are a breath and power is a delusion that we should not set our hopes on them. And then David concludes by saying, Once God has spoken, twice have I heard, that power belongs to God and that you, O Lord, to you, O Lord, belongs steadfast love. And as I finished reading, I just felt peace wash over me. All that overwhelm was gone. And there were two things that stood out to me that I would share with you this morning. One is the character of God. We have a powerful and loving God who invites us to experience Him as our refuge and our rock in this season. And we can choose to give way to those feelings of overwhelm or we can choose to surrender them to God and let Him give us peace. The second thing was the line that said, I will not be greatly shaken. And I found such comfort in those words because it meant it was okay to be a little bit shaken. That I didn't have to feel guilty about having moments of, of fear in this season. But the trouble comes in is if I allow that fear to, fear to settle in my heart and to become overwhelmed, or whether I take those fears to the Lord. And as I took my fear to the Lord, I felt him convict me that the reason I was feeling shaken in this season is because I was finding security in things outside of him. And I had the opportunity to again, just surrender myself before God and affirm that he is my rock. He is my refuge. He is the way, place that I find my security and my courage and my comfort. Then I was struck with the sense of what is my responsibility then in, in all of this. And the verse that says, to guard our heart came to mind. And I was reminded of a quote that Mark Kukumo had shared earlier in the week about not allowing the voice of the world to drown out the voice of God. And as I pondered on those two things, I felt a sense of conviction to guard the voices that I allow in during this season. There is so much information available to us at the moment. There is endless information on Facebook. There are dedicated news channels and radios to update us on the COVID crisis. And we could easily listen to those voices all day long. But I have made the decision that I will set aside one time in the day that I will update myself. I don't believe in being ignorant or being an ostrich with the head in the sand, but I want to be sensible in this. So I've set aside a time that I will update myself I will process what that means to my family and I will pray through it and submit it to God. And then for the rest of my day, I'm gonna to choose to fill it with God's truth. I'm gonna to choose to have worship music playing in my home. I'm gonna be choosing to read scripture. I'm gonna to choose to speak about God and to share stories about God's goodness in this season so that my heart can take courage, so that I can have confidence and security in God and not give in to overwhelm. Church, this crisis is going to pass. And when it does, some things in society may look different but God and God's truth will remain the same. This crisis may be big, but we find in scripture that our God is bigger. He is greater and he is greatly to be praised. And so we have a choice in all of this, whether we will allow ourselves to be greatly shaken or whether we will choose to put our trust in God. I'm choosing to stand firm on the rock of my salvation and I invite you to do the same. Let's pray. God, thank you that we can turn to your word in times like this and have our confidence and courage restored by reminding ourselves of who you are, that you are a God of power and a God of steadfast love who is ever present in our time of need. Lord, may we make the choice to turn to you when we start to have feelings of shakiness or fear. 
would we choose to call out to you and allow you to replace those feelings with ones of peace and confidence in who you are. Lord, would you be ever close to us as a church in this season, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen.